We are still railway engines. Episode two. A close shave for Rex. The Arsenal Railway is a busy railway. That's why it's, uh, the fat controller, the controller of the railway, that goes all the way of the bottom of the big sodor, is uh, shipping and opening and a new places to the railway, and also. Opening new places for the railway, for the Island Big Sodor, and Dawsdale Military Railway. Okay. was getting new long stock and new trucks. And he was ordering, he ordered two new engines called Sir Handel and Peter Sam. We all know those two. <laughs> so Tom had also... And he was also ordering a new engine called Scarlowe. We all know him too. <laughs> and there, we also changed it and fit it to Arsdale Railway Major Tracks. And we and, and there was, and it was also a beautiful day at the shed. <laughs> Mike and Rex. We're in the, sh- the good sheds. Alright, Mike, it's time to go. Take your little good train. Why, well, good train? I always take that off oh, fine. Well, at least I'll get a chance to stretch out my wheels. Goodbye, little Rex, he said, pretending to be like Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> Rex had no jobs for today, and he felt sad. His favorite job was delivering the ballast. The ballast cars are just like this. And Rex is feeling sad for not... Taking the loads of ballast to mm, Thomas's truck or anything. <sighs> so I decided to sit there for the rest of the day. For no job. That's one. Two troublesome naughty t- teenagers. Okay. Sneaking up like a tank. <laughs> like a tank engine. I climbed into Rex's cab and messed around with the controls. Rex felt tingling sense into his boiler. Oh, this is too cool. Wait a second. Boys jumped out of Rex's cab. What should I do? I said, stop. Help, help. At least it is good. Could get at least it is going good, he said. But then there was trouble. He raced past as the crane who dropped up on the packages, blocking the tracks for any other engine that's coming back or forth. And Peter Sam was one of those engines. He was just leaving with the new now gauge slash miniature railway and jet engine. <laughs> Is it? They saw Rex come straight towards them. The point switched. Rex diverted into the other part of the side. His hand was shocked to see Rex go fast as a bullet, even faster than a jet engine. He, passed, he raced past the handle. He was heading towards a barber shop. Oh, horrors! He was shocked. I do. 
not like enters a chewing through my barber shop. Like you sprayed Rex in the face. Rex and his firing. But he spread too much shaving cream and it got all over. <sighs> shaving cream was everywhere, including Rex's steamers covered in shaving cream. And that hissed all over the barbershop, man. Oh! He said. You silly Nazi great engine, he said. You destruded just like that. He said about that there. I do not like engines like you protruding, he said. So, Peter say on the small little tank engine, decided to biff out the cargo help Rex from his <clears throat> incident pump and a soda or a barber. They also had a big soda or a barber shop. He was disappointed to see Rex just like this. Luckily, I didn't do it like Duck did. <laughs> It was easy. It wasn't that easy, but it was pleasingly easy for Pierre Sam. They pulled him out, and there was the rest. He couldn't sing a thing. The barbershop walls weren't that strong. So it was easier for engines to come crashing into. Besides, it was made out of homemade wood, since wood was the only closest thing nearby, not iron melt, melt tool. <laughs> Luckily, you didn't end up like duck, said, said Tom. There, watching from the side, from the standard gauge railway tracks, was a, was a course, was a, of course, Tom's the number one blue tank engine. I got to tell the fat controller, and I got to text the missus. Hey, you don't even know what that means. Yeah, I, I know. First of all, it's joking, you know. Mm -hmm. As Thomas set it off. <laughs> Was Anna Clara Bell and the only railway truck Ruffy. As I watched Thomas puff into the single tunnel. <laughs> Rex was still disappointed. No, I can't really work, he moaned. Luckily, he could still puff. Not that fast, Lego. <sighs> so Hannah couldn't help but laugh. <laughs> oh, look at you stupid little engine. And I said on soda, or little engines can't do big things. But look at yourself, he chortled. I've got to tell the fat controller, he said, running away to find the fat controller. Mm -hmm. come back here. Peter Sam decided to still shunt him back home to his shed. Hopefully Mike will laugh at me, he grunted. <laughs> <laughs> but soon enough, we found Mike. 
I'm on the wrong track. I forgot. The mine was closed and I crashed into this pile of dirty. Then he saw Rex coming home. But my couldn't help but laugh still. As Peter Sam left, there was a shaving cream on his buffer. Now I'm off to find birds. And I got the tells of the fat man, the controller. <laughs> he said as he was driving away. But well, whoa, whoa. Said Rex. Looks like he ain't got an accident. A bird came steaming perfectly and funnily in. Oh boy. Now I have to get a cup of water to like for duck. You're like duck's cousin. A few months later. A few months later. Rex was feeling better than ever. The bird steamed into the shed early. Last night. All of his Rex's friends puffed in. Looks like we all had accidents. And you looks like you have got new cold paint. And you got your face face washed off. Yes, indeed. I wish you all a very good night. And a happy new year. <laughs> we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Happy New Year's from the Gordon James. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs>